In this demonstration, we will take a look at how to insert a click box into a Captivate project. A click box is an interactive element that allows a user to click an area on the screen. For example, you might use a click box in a software simulation to have the user practice pressing a button or clicking a link in an application screen. To add a click box, open an Adobe Captivate project and select the slide to which you want to add the box. To add a click box, click the Insert menu and then select Click Box. The new Click Box dialog box appears. Use the tabs within the dialog box to edit the properties for the box. On the Click Box tab, enter the basic settings for the box. The first section contains a setting that controls what happens if the user successfully clicks the box. You can select Continue, go to Previous Slide, go to Next Slide, Jump to Slide, Open URL or File, Open Other Project, Send Email to, Execute JavaScript, or No Action. The next section contains settings that control what happens if the user clicks outside the box. The first field in this section indicates how many attempts the user is allowed to click the box. The Infinite Attempts option is selected by default. To enter a specific number of attempts, clear the Infinite Attempts option and enter the appropriate number of attempts. The After Last Attempt option specifies what should happen after the last attempt. This list contains the same options as the On Success field. The Set Shortcut Key section allows you to select a key combination for users to press when submitting responses. The current shortcut is displayed to the left. For a click box, this will typically read None as the user is submitting their answer via a mouse click. The Options tab contains timing settings that are similar to those used with text captions. For more information on using these settings, refer to the demonstration called Creating a Text Caption. The Options section contains a series of checkboxes with various settings for the click box. Please note that this includes Success, Failure, and Hint captions. The Audio tab contains settings that allow you to record or import audio clips. These settings are the same as those found in the Text Captions dialog box. To keep score for the click box or coordinate the score with the Learning Management System, use the settings in the Reporting tab. The Include in Quiz option includes the click box interaction as a question in the current quiz. The points assigned to this click box are added to the score results of the quiz. The Report Answers setting reports the user's results on the quiz. Enter an objective ID if the click box question is related to an objective set in your learning management system. Enter an interaction ID if you want the Adobe Captivate project to send tracking information to your learning management system. In the Points field, enter a number or use the arrows to give the question a point value. The maximum point value is 100 points and the minimum is zero. If you select the Add to Total option, the points of the click box are added to the quiz total. The Size and Position tab contains settings that are similar to those used with text captions. For more information on using these settings, refer to the demonstration called Creating a Text Caption. Once you have entered all the settings for your click box, click the OK button. The click box is added to the slide. If needed, you can adjust the size and location of the click box. Let's preview the slide to see how the click box works. When the user successfully clicks the box, Captivate takes the action specified in the dialog box. In this case, Continue to the next slide. For more information on working with click boxes, consult the Captivate help system. This concludes the demonstration on inserting a click box into a Captivate project.